Do you believe we're doing this? <laughs> we're finally getting married. Finally. I know. I, I feel like I'm in a dream. You know, I've waited for this for so long. Me too. I love you. I love you too. Mama, um, did you find justice of the peace? Actually, yes. Ooh. He just got here. Come up with Grandma. Oh, she's getting so heavy. Oh, and he'll be here in a minute. Great. Oh. Mommy, when are you and Uncle Ethan getting married? Uh, as soon as the justice of the peace gets here. <laughs> are you excited? Yes. <laughs> so that means Uncle Ethan will be Daddy Ethan now, right? That's right. <laughs> that is correct. Nothing's going to change. The only change is that we're going to be spending a lot more time together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I got here as fast as I could. That's okay, sir. We're glad you're here. Uh, thanks for coming on such short notice. It's my pleasure and my job. I have all the requisite paperwork for you to sign. Sign? Yeah. Um, where do I sign? Uh, this, this is the marriage license. Just sign here. <sighs> okay. Can't believe we're doing this. Uh, neither can I. Your here. turn. Now? No, no. Not yet. <sighs> Patience. You know, I hate that word. Okay, looks like we're uh, we're ready to you do this, so right? Ready, yes. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? We are gathered here to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. A state not to be entered into without You're serious okay. contemplation okay. and intent. Ah, uh, wait, wait. You know what? You you can't start the ceremony just yet. Uh, they're not ready. Is there a problem? What are you doing? When? Why did you stop the ceremony? Because Teresa has to change into her wedding dress. I don't have a wedding dress. You do now. I called the bridal salon and it's on its way. No, I, I didn't order one. But I did. I did, and as soon as it gets here, I will help you change. Oh, really, Gwen? This is not necessary. But really, though, it's really my pleasure. Gwen, I think I can help my daughter change. Oh, my goodness, Pilar. I'm sure little Ethan and Jane want to stay with their grandmother, and I don't mind not one bit. Well, well, that, I mean, that's, that's sweet of you, <laughs> right? Well, you want to marry Teresa, and I want you to be happy. So. Well, thank you for that. So, let's go. <laughs> oh, Teresa, get ready for the worst night of your life. You look beautiful. Thank you. I guess it's a good thing it's off-white, right? This is gonna be my fourth marriage and Ethan's second. In today's world, a bride can wear whatever she wants, no matter how many times she skipped down the aisle. Do you like the gown? It's beautiful, Gwen, really it is, thank you. No problem. Listen, you've waited for this day for a long time, so you shouldn't be so nervous. You should just relax and enjoy it. Well, I would love to, so I guess I need to ask you a question. Are you sure you're not going to tell Ethan the truth about his son? Well, I um, told you that I wouldn't, right? Yes. And I need to be the one to tell him, and I will, just not tonight. And if he finds out from somebody else, it's going to destroy him. It would destroy us. I understand. So you ready? Ready for the worst night of your life. There you go. You're all set. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what do you say, shall we? Teresa wanted to look perfect. After all, this is a, a moment she's been waiting for for a long time. She's going to marry the man she loves. Mm. Ah. You look very pretty, Teresa. And I am so glad that I brought my camera so we can document every moment of this. Good thinking, Gwen. Well, I guess we should get going. Keep them waiting any longer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't you go on ahead? I want a word with Gwen. We'll, we'll be right there. I am being paranoid. 
maybe Gwen isn't going to tell Ethan the truth about his son. Ah, ride appears to be ready. Shall we begin? Yes, please. I'm anxious to make that woman there my wife. Very well. Wait, wait. Just to stop. I just need to talk to my friend. Okay, please. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Huh. What's that all about? I have no idea. Honey, are you okay? I mean, you, you look sick. Well, I am a little sick. Um, look, I went looking for you, right? And I overheard Rebecca and Gwen talking. Honey, they're gonna ruin everything for you. I don't know why you allow them to be a part of your wedding. You know you can't trust them. If Rebecca and Gwen are gonna tell Ethan about little Ethan. Oh my God. Yeah. As soon as you finished walking down that aisle, they were gonna blow you out of the water. Okay, are, are you sure you heard right? Gwen said she's going to tell Ethan the truth about little Ethan. Yes, honey, I'm absolutely sure. She said when you were almost done with your vows, she was gonna spill the beans and then she said that ethan was gonna hate you forever oh yeah well she's right god what am i supposed to do whitney i've got to find a way to stop her right i just uh, i'm not sure how you know i mean what if she just you know goes goes ahead and blurts it out in front of everyone and, and the, the, the children are here you know this, this is not how i want little ethan to find out that he's a wonderful father who loves him well honey i know I think you finally run out of wiggle room here. And you have to do what you should have done a long time ago. You want me to tell him the truth, right? Yes, I do. I mean, it's either you or Gwen. So, Teresa, what is going on? I mean, your groom is waiting. Oh, I will be right there. Teresa, are you uh, coming? I'm ready. <laughs> Teresa, this is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. All right, I gotta stop her. How the hell am I supposed to stop her? Teresa, I don't think you can. It's time to pay the piper. <laughs> 